Welcome to another weekly uh, market update. The date is Sunday, September the 18th, after market closed on 16th of September. The big question, the big question is, which chart is correct? Is it this one, the S&P 500, which is you know very big and probably the most reliable of all the uh, indexes on the American market, or is it the NYA, which is all of the indexes on the American market all combined together because they're saying different things. If you are looking at the NYA, and this is really the big question about, we do this weekly, What? It, where is the market direction? Where is it going? Is this a bull market? Is it a bear market or whatever? Here's what's confusing right now. The NYA, according to the New York Composite Index, this is just a bear market rally. The peak was established here back in, well, well over a year ago now. And if you look at that, the stock market from this point of view has gone absolutely nowhere. It had a big downswing. And then this is just like a pull up before it goes down again. And now it's turned over again. So the NYA says this is a bear market rally. The SPX, on the other hand, says that, you know, this is actually like after a pause, it looks like it could be building up for another big leg upwards. So which is it? Well, I think the answer is, is that the fact that I'm asking this question in the first place means all is not well, because uh, there could have been an, an anomaly caused here by large pension funds being driven into quality stocks, mostly that are on the S&P 500, because... Um, because they can't get any yield on bonds, which is where they traditionally invest. So all is not well. Um, so, you know, it depends on which one you're inclined to believe. Let's zoom in a little bit. <clears throat> the main thing is, is that yes, all is not well right now. Here is this look at what I was looking at last week. And as I, I said that what must happen here after last weekend is that this level here at about 21.20, it must hold because then this thing you're seeing happen here would just be a pullback before it marched higher and that's actually quite healthy action uh, which is what i've been saying would be a healthy thing to happen for the last few weeks now and this week um, i can home in on the daily chart here for more detail and we can see it actually did just that it established uh, that support level that I said last week, you know, should should happen at twenty one twenty. You can see right there. In fact, it's bouncing off it during the week, almost like to the num to the digit there. Um, and as, and uh, so you know, that's actually quite healthy. It didn't go any further, and that really is the line in the sand <coughs> for the SPX. A similar thing did happen on the NYA, but it was it's in a different scenario. As I said, this is not you know that was healthy, uh, but here's that line. There's a same, similar line here that goes all the way back to there. You can see it touches all those horizontal pegs there and it held right on it. And you can see that in more detail here. So it's bullish for the market in any case, temporarily at least, that it, it hung on to that, to that level quite tightly actually. And what's coming up this week on Tuesday and Wednesday is the uh, Federal Reserve are going to meet um, to decide whether they're going to raise interest rates or not. And this fall that took place in the first instance was because the market is absolutely terrified of the Federal Reserve raising interest rates. Uh, and the Federal Reserve knows that, which is why there's absolutely, the market is giving it currently a chance, I think of about 25% they're gonna raise interest rates. I can tell you categorically right now, before a presidential election, knowing what's gonna to happen to the stock market if they raise rates, it was a 99.9% .9 chance that they do not raise rates on Tuesday, uh, which opens up opportunities all to itself. So anyway, the market direction right now is kind of hanging in there. Um, the market, however, is not yet pricing in the presidential election, especially the possibility of a Trump win. Um, so it's going to be a volatile few weeks ahead. So. I think what's happened now, if we're looking at this chart, the market is 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 it's below its 50-day moving average, which is not healthy, and it's it's kind of in this kind of dead zone here, um, in a holding pattern. I think it's going to get a but I think Federal Federal Reserve is not going to raise rates, and that will bump it higher. But that'll be short-lived, I think, um, as the market gets closer to the election. So uh, I think short-term, it's a it's a it's at least a neutral situation. 
uh, until then. Uh, probably, probably quite volatile as well moving ahead as we move into the uh, into the uh, presidential election, which is on November the 9th. So um, it's a very confusing picture. And, um, you know, if we can't say it's a bull, but we can't say it's a bear, that's typically what we call a pig. The, you know, trendless market, we've got to wait and see. Um, as I said, longer term, very bearish, but um, medium term, short term, it's uh, short term, quite volatile, medium term, well, you know, we just got to wait, we're just waiting and see. And there's, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll speak to you next week.